Invest, invest, invest. Every cryptocurrency guru is saying because the price is the lowest it's been in years and the last time that this happened, it surpassed its all-time high when it recovered. And while investing may be a great idea, there are still many risks involved. Hello and welcome to my channel where today we will be looking at the 5 biggest risks of investing in Bitcoin, which has seen an extremely volatile first half of the year. Starting out of 2021, Bitcoin hit an all-time high of nearly $65,000 in April, but by the end of the first half of the year was down a massive 47%, and in order to invest now, risks need to be addressed in order to reduce further pain ahead. Here are the 5 biggest risks facing cryptocurrencies as we enter the second half of the year. The first and biggest risk for the digital coin is regulation. In recent weeks, China has clamped down on its cryptocurrency industry, shattering energy-intensive crypto mining operations and ordering banks and payment firms like Alipay not to do business with crypto companies. To add to this, the United Kingdom proceeded to ban leading digital currency exchange Binance from undertaking regulated activities. The USA is known for its tight rules and regulations and is only a matter of time before they clamp down on the crypto market and this could spell the end for the cryptocurrency bubble. The second risk is the volatility and this is the persistent extreme swings in the price of Bitcoin and other digital currencies. Bitcoin rallied to an all-time record of around $64,829 this year in April. But then it tumbled as low as $28,911 in June, briefly sliding below $30,000 and turning negative for the year. It's since risen back above $34,000. Bitcoin bills can be seen as a kind of digital gold, an asset uncorrelated to the wider market that could provide sizable returns in times of economic turbulence. But while volatility can be good when the price of an asset is going up, it goes both ways, either doubling your money or halving it. The third risk is that of environmental concerns and this relates directly to Bitcoin's impact on the environment. Bitcoin mining equipment requires a massive load of electricity to run and as Bitcoin has become more popular the energy consumption has risen considerably over the years in correlation with its price. There has been whispers of the huge carbon footprint over the years but has recently been brought to light by Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO in the past year. Elon Musk's electric car firm stunned both fans and skeptics of Bitcoin this year when it bought $1.5 billion worth of the digital currency and began accepting it as a method of payment. But he subsequently turned the market upside down after deciding to halt Bitcoin payments due to the currency's insane energy usage and a reliance on fossil fuels. It raises some questions for asset managers who are under heightened pressure to limit their investments to ethically conscious assets. Stablecoin scrutiny is the next big risk. These so-called stablecoins, whose prices are meant to be pegged to real-world assets, like the US dollar, are also facing growing scrutiny. The Federal Reserve Bank of Boston President Eric Rosengren said Tether, a stablecoin that ranks amongst the world's largest digital currencies, was a risk to the stability of the financial system. Tether maintains that each of its tokens are backed by a one-to-one -one by the US dollar held in a reserve, the idea being that this keeps this price stable. Crypto investors often use Tether to buy cryptocurrencies as an alternative to the greenback, but some investors worry Tether issues does, doesn't have enough dollar reserves to justify its dollar peg. In May, the company behind Tether broke down the reserves for the stablecoin, revealing that around 76% was backed by cash and cash equivalents, but just under 4% of that was actual cash, while about 65% was commercial paper, a form of short-term debt. Tether has been compared to traditional money market funds, but without the regulation, and with almost 60 billion worth of the tokens in circulation, has more deposits than that of, the, that of many US banks. There have long been concerns about whether Tether is being used to manipulate Bitcoin prices with one study claiming the token was used to prop up Bitcoin during key price declines in its monster 2017 rally. Lastly, we have the risk of mem coins and scams. Rising speculation in the crypto market could prove another risk for Bitcoin. Dogecoin, 
a cryptocurrency that started as a joke, surged wildly earlier this year to records highs, growing numbers of retail investors piled into digital assets in search of outsized gains. At one point, Dogecoin was worth more than Ford and other US firms, thanks to, in no small part, support from celebrities like Musk. Its value has depreciated significantly since then. Elsewhere in the crypto market, a decentralized finance or DeFi token called Titan crashed to zero. Self-made billionaire investor Mark Cuban was a holder. There are many concerns due to the number of scams that have been popping up all over the digital realm and many pump and dump schemes seeing people investing in these getting scammed and losing their investments. What this means is that whenever retail gets burned, the government steps in and if things are over-regulated to a point, the industry as a whole could be negatively affected. What are your thoughts on investing in Bitcoin while it's low? Let us know in the comments below and let us know what your concerns and queries are. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so not to miss out on more. See you in the next video.